Mark Watts here at Leona Bell Turnbull Birding Center in Port Aransas, Texas. It's a cold morning, but it's beautiful, and you can't find a better spot down this way for birding than this place. If you really like ducks and like to see them spread their wings, and show their feathers and all their patterns, this is a video for you. This tells you some of the tips and tricks on how to capture these animals in mid-stroke. It's kind of short, it's an observation, and it's not too hard, but you can do it. I want to thank everybody for watching my videos. Thank you for the likes, and I appreciate it if you subscribe. Y'all have a great day. As you can see, I'm shooting with a tripod, but a monopod works just as well. You're sometimes holding that camera for a long time, waiting for them to just reach out and flap, flap, flap. So what settings do I use? Well, I shoot in manual mode. I use auto ISO, a very low f-stop, and a shutter speed of at least two to three thousandths of a second. I shoot in burst mode and continue shooting. That way I get a lot of frames that I get to choose from. So here we have this blue winged teal doing the key feature to look for is the dip, dip, dip. When you see them dipping like this bathing, they're going to reach out and start their flapping. So be ready, concentrate. It's also time to think about what's in the background. Is it clear? Will it make it stand out? The blue water sure does. Ducks are not the only bird that do this. Here you have this black neck still, dip, dip, dip. And they're very fast when they flap, so you need a very high shutter speed, maybe one four thousandths of a second. And if you're lucky, one day you might catch these Rosetta Spoonbills bathing. They do the same thing. They'll get all wet, flap, flap, flap. And then they give you the most beautiful poses. And depending on how fast your shutter speed is, you can either freeze the water or let it float a little bit. Thank you for watching my videos, guys.